Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Central Florida Golden Knights and the BYU Cougars. Number 30 is the key guy on this team. He's definitely someone we're going to watch out for tonight. Whether he's putting up a J, driving in a bunker, or making a nice pass, you don't like seeing him with the ball if you're a defender. The Cougars will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Cougars should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Next, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Dump it inside. Gave it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Look at that drive. There. That's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Both teams are looking to get something going here. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Defensively trying to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Penny receives the ball, showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Trying to draw some contact. Watch your head, young fella. Too much. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Cougars go to the line for the first time in this game. He sinks it. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Gotta pass it and make a play, Brian. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion. What an edge for the home team. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Down inside, trying to draw the foul. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Trying to feed the low block. Boy, terrible execution on offense. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He's got some room. Tries for two. He gets the shot to fall. out of play. Looking for a good shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He tries the three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They go into the low block. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Gets it back out. Now trying to feed the low block. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And a momentary look from three-point land. Got a nice screen. That's an 8-0 run. Now they work it around the perimeter. The skip pass is picked off. The power forward handles the pass. He shoots from long range. Tickles a twine. See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Double team now, bad angle. From the top of the circle. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. In the paint. Controlling the ball. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Central Florida is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. the dribble gives it up and he'll kick it back outside gave it up and he goes with a spin I tell you feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart for the bucket perfectly executed Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position oh, like that, oh, it's oh, automatic. Oh, Stolen away. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job, poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. There's the rejection. On the outside. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He shoots from the elbow. Central Florida are in a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now.
There's a bad pass right to the defender. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Hayes handles the feed. There's the trap. Picked out of the air. Wall receives the pass. He uses the shot fake. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Way off target. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, there's a lot of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff can't seem to get anyone in sync. It's certainly not the game we anticipated seeing. In fact, some of these fans around me can't believe it either. Makes the shot. Second one, no good. Strong rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Pull up jumper from way out. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Steal. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Stolen away. Look at that spacing. With authority. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Dump it inside. Wall in the paint. Number 13, pump fakes. Tries for two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. I ain't backing down is his cry. He goes to the line for the first time. He buries it. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Scores it, and he's fouled. So again, one opportunity here. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. He'll go to the line. Misses. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad.
with a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. They work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Especially that basketball. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. On the outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Phillips is animated and ready to go. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory, like a sixth man. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Erin's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. He goes to the line for the first time. First one is no good. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. He misses it. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Stolen away. What a great strip. Looking for a good shot. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. And the slam. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the inside, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. but the shot fell off. Up fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of play. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. man in high post looking for the foul BYU are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense well that's good defense a steal on the inside oh what a way to force the turnover great anticipation by the post player high post screen puts it up looking for contact they are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. And a 
momentary look from three-point land. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. That's an eight-zip run. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Great play to take that to the basket. Just about ready for play to resume. There's the fake. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Pump fakes. Thinks about the shot. He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. And now they'll bring it up. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. BYU are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. They'll work it around the arc. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. On the outside. Brad got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. He is going to the line. Gets it. When I think of home court advantage, this is what I see and this is what I hear. The crowd's fired up, and I'm sure the team is, too. Here's a double team. He dials long distance. He drains the bucket. Let's check out this replay, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. He'll visit the charity stripe. It's that one. Hard foul. Oh. 
How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points, they add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. He misses his second shot, and they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. Up and inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He hits it. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Moving it around the perimeter. And we've got a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Working around the perimeter. Two for one opportunity. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From the top of the key, way off target. He's going nowhere. Ball going nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Here they come now on a turnover. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. He takes the shot. Off target. At the end of the first half, the Golden Knights are behind by seven. BYU displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Dick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focused player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Oh, my goodness! That was unbelievable, baby! Fakes a jumper. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. No, 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 no. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes away the pass. Arm and foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Second shot is no good. They clear the defensive rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. There's the pick. Great play to take that to the basket. No 
goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Here they go into the break. For two, perfectly executed. Picked off on the dribble, gives it up. On the outside, dumps it in. He blocks the shot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Look at that spacing. Ten seconds to get a shot off. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He gets it up the floor with a quick push. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Entry pass in the paint, fakes the shot. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Bradley makes a great move to draw the foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus. This BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Gave it up. He looks for the bomb. Gets it to go. The Cougars are up by seven. They work it around the perimeter. Nice high post screen. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. The ball goes out of bounds. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. He's trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Double team now, bad angle. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Intercepted. Foul charge. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Moving it around the perimeter. With a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. They've left him completely alone. BYU are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. On the outside, goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Tries to get the D to bite. For two. And he missed. Three, three. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He puts it in with contact and all. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He tries a jump hook. And the ball goes out of bounds. it fly he hits the shot let us show you the replay on that one on the outside leans in he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score Face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Ten on the shot clock. Outside jumper. Penny is getting it done for his team right now. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. Dribble gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of play. the crowd to show some love. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The Golden Knights have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. They're working around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Here's a double team. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you've got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. That was a high post screen, close to the lane. 
hammers it down. And the ball goes out of play. Steals a pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The center takes the pass in the paint. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For the bucket, he puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Working around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball. He gets the bucket. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. Tries a three. He buries it. Looking for a good shot. He strokes it. He gets it to fall. The D has no energy left on offense. Their life is being sucked out of them right now in the defensive end. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He drains it. The Cougars are ahead by 13. Picks off the lazy pass. Look at that spacing. There's the trap. That's good. Wants him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picks off the pass. Gave it up for three. Drains it. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gives it up with a deep shot from outside. Sinks the shot. Trying to draw some contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Well, wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Stolen. Gave it up. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin.
picks off the lazy pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Easy one. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. On the outside, he's got an open look for the shot. He nails the bucket. Circle. Got it. Double team now. Bad angle. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. it around the perimeter on the dribble gives it up there they come with a double team to stop it the shot from the baseline off target robs him of the ball goes up for two the land replay of the night baby it up steals the pass trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing he fouled him oh and you can tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him wow look at the facial expression he says me Think right now, got to focus defensively. He hits the shot. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, the crowd will be extremely happy. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. STOP, this place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Gets it back out. They work the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Looks at a three. He drains it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And the fans here are loving the action. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Goes up for two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. Sullivan receives the pass. 
He's money with a shot. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn now they work it around the perimeter he tries the three he shows the sweet touch time out on the floor Aaron Andrews what do you got for us yeah well at this point in the game it's about being on the same page each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession offensively you must know who the number one option is while defensively the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul time is of the essence brad thanks Aaron. we'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes right now his team in front by two And a momentary look from three-point land. They move it into the front court. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. He gets the rejection. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Ball goes out of bounds. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. the pass buries it takes away the pass to the action. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Sailor handles the feed. They have to foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. Shot clock is dead. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a block management here? Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them gap. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Nobody likes this point of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He steps up to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second one is good. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Right, right. 
with the free throw. Sinks it. Misses the second shot. They need points on this possession, baby. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. BYU comes away with the W in this matchup. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.